had possession, uh, and we had good looks from, you know, we really have one good look, right? You know, Corey's early in the game, but a lot of them were shots from outside the 18 and, and things they were in some ways allowing us to have. Uh, um, yeah, but again, we're always going to have to pos possession uh, against teams. We're going to get, we're going to break teams down and get into good positions. I, I just thought final product, uh, 2v1s, we weren't real effective. We're off with the, a lot of the pass. Um, we couldn't find our wingers fast enough. And again, they're, they both outside backs for them, I thought played really well. Uh, two experienced center backs, uh, and you can see what type of transitions uh, uh, quality that they have with Bawanga and Vela and, and Oliveras. It's a it's a very very tough team, and I get you have to be close to perfect to to get out of here uh, with a win, and we just weren't tonight. Steve was tested a, a lot early, yep. and it got pretty physical and, and chippy there, even just the first thirty minutes. Just with, with him being kind yeah. of the emotional engine of the team. Steve's great. Part of that is just Steve managing the game, and, and he's really, really good at it. But they're a physical team. They're the most physical team in the, in the league. And, again, you don't always see it until it's playoff time. And teams that come in here and, and understand that, um, that they are kind of a different animal. Uh, and we saw a little bit of that tonight. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was an okay performance from us, but it needed to be great. And it, it, it wasn't great. But, again, that doesn't take away from – uh, the, the joy that this, this team has brought, I think, hopefully our fans and uh, certainly me. A couple of pressers ago you said this team was a bit ahead of schedule. Um, what are some moves in the offseason to get this team uh, on schedule to winning even more trophies? Yeah, I, I'm not going to get into that. Um, um, sorry for ducking your question. I, I don't want to get into the offseason and moves, but uh, you know, we, we'll – and we'll get back. You know, we'll be in the office this week, and we'll, we'll start working on next week because we, we know we got to get better. Uh, it's, so that's where you know this, these. But these are the type of games where you you learn you know who you are and, and where where you need to go when you're playing against the best. Uh, you 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 could find that out very clearly. Hey man, how does the team continue to build and continue to having a winning culture? We we compete, you know. We, we, we bring guys in to continue to to uh, push push the culture, push the locker room, and, and push for playing time. And, and so on the field, we'll we'll, we'll try to bring more quality in and, and uh, just kind of keep pushing that there. But the culture will, will be fine, you know. We got good guys in there. A lot of them are going to be coming back, so I don't worry about the culture component because it's it's their culture. They're a part of it, and if those guys are back, uh, they'll. they'll They'll, they'll, they'll keep pushing that and handle handle most of that. You speak about uh, going back to the office this week, uh, talking about the off season. You've got a month until break, if I'm not mistaken, and then two months uh, until CONCACAF uh, Champions Cup. You find out the draw next week. Uh, just could you add along to that, please? On CONCACAF? Just or the, how to prepare for all of that. Yeah, I, we'll see. I don't. I don't have a lot of, you know, we're, when I say we we'll get back in the office, it's, you know, we got we got to wrap this season up, um, you know, uh, as we go. We know we have CONCACAF coming up, and <clears throat> we got some preseason plans. So that that that's all kind of in the works already, and those dates are somewhat close to being shored up. So yeah, that's a that's a neat challenge for this group. It's another step to kind of furthering us, our brand, and our awareness uh, in the uh, kind of the Americas. And uh, just more opportunity for us to kind of find out about ourselves. This is bad. I was saying congratulations on being you. a beautiful Johnny. Thank you. Why from when you got this um, job, a lot of people didn't give you the opportunity to do what you've done. But I want to say you've done a marvelous job for you. Thank you, sir. And you don't have to put your heads down anyhow. You have to raise your head high because you did an amazing job. Houston, before, it used to be a team that was like the biggest team in the MLS. But right now, Dynamo is up there as a team to compete with other teams. So going forward to this, I would call it a victory when they were lost because it was another short period of time, this team was able to come together and achieve this fit. So going forward to next season, what do you think that, you know, can make it to, so for the first time, certify and win a championship next season? Yeah, again, these, as I said, these, these games teach you a lot about your team. And, uh, 
because when you play the best, you, you see it very clearly, you know, some of your deficiencies. And, um, you know, I, I, you always want to add, right? You always want to add better players and, and more competition at spots and, and get bigger, faster, stronger, better. Uh, so we'll, you know, that's, we got a good uh, Asher Mendelson and, um, and Pat and our scouting system. They'll, they'll keep pushing, pushing uh, the envelope and getting us the best players we can to, to keep getting this team better. But what, there's a good core. What did you learn just throughout? I know it's hard to reflect right after the season ends, but about this group as a whole just throughout the course of this season? Uh, I learned a lot. Yeah, I, I learned a lot. of. Um, it, you know, they taught me some things for sure. I think they, they taught me to enjoy the ride a little bit more. Uh, than, than I had previously done in my uh, my last job, uh, but the uh, again the enthusiasm that they brought every day, uh, and and was just so uh, it was so fun to be around, and and I think if anything, that's the takeaway of the year that we we, we won, but we won in an enjoyable way, uh, in a in a way that was pleasing to the eye, uh, uh, and. I also learned that there's there's real moxie in there. There's there's winners. There's guys that uh, uh, are, are not afraid of the big moment, and and that's a that's a nice thing to have. What do you say? What do you say to your players after after the match? I mean, you keep them up, up lifted. To try to... I just told them how, how how proud I was, and uh, really just thanked them for the year. Uh, you know, you know, I, I didn't want to talk about myself. In there, but it, this was a, uh, a really, you know, w was thankful for them you know, coming back after, uh, uh, you know, the, my ten years at DC United and to, to restart and to uh, and to have this group to restart my career with. I'm just very, very thankful for uh, the the energy, the enthusiasm, the quality, uh, and and them being a part of energizing uh, and. Putting a putting a fire back in in the Houston Dynamo. And I know you have experienced players, but a team like LA, do they play on 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 that aggression and on that, that physicality? They're the most, yeah. That, that's to to there's obviously some play. there's obviously serious quality on this this group, but the physicality, set pieces, um, and uh, just again their their ability to turn it up in the playoffs and play at a high level and also. Uh, you know, I don't want to say bully you, but they, they have a little bit of that to them, and you need that. If you're going to be the best in this league, you, you, know, uh, you have to be athletic and you, you have to be good on set pieces, uh, fast, transition, dynamic players, uh, and, you know, grown men in the midfield, and, and they got a little bit of everything. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up on Zoom. Hey, Jesus, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, tough, tough loss. Uh, tactically speaking, can you tell us, you know, did you expect such a high pressure from LAFC and did you think uh, your team was going to be able to break through? Clearly they didn't break through as, as, as much. Can you speak to us on the tactic that you saw from LAFC? Well, I thought, I thought we broke through enough on their press. I didn't think their press was um, that great. I thought we bypassed it quite a bit. Uh, it was then the next phase that I thought we kind of let ourselves down on. Um, so... The initial press was fairly easy for us to break at times. Uh, we just, um, you know, I thought there was just way too many turnovers once we got past their first uh, their first phase of pressure. Uh, Mikael had to be substituted out due to a concussion. First of all, how is he? And then second, we saw how pressured he was from enough. Clearly, he was a, a strong player throughout these playoffs. Did that kind of change your substitution pattern that you possibly had in, in mind? No, it was just a one for one. It was just teenage going in for him, so it didn't really change anything that we thought from a game standpoint. Uh, you know, we threw threw a little bit of the kitchen sink there. Tried to go with two forwards. Tried to get Brad Smith on for service and and put more balls in the box. Uh, and you know, it was uh, you know left us open for more transition, but it, I thought it was worth the risk. Uh, we made it interesting there. We had a couple. Looks and created some more set pieces, uh, but in the end, uh, not enough good looks from us. Thank you so much, Coach. Herman, go ahead. Hey, Coach, I just want to 
want to emphasize how proud the fan base is of the season the team has had, and y'all shouldn't hold your, your heads down. Y'all Th should be uh, proud of the season y'all had. Just want to start off that. With Thank that. you. My two questions for tonight are kind of building on, on Jesus' question just now. You get through the first uh, phase of the of the pressing. What did they do to prevent us from creating those clear scoring opportunities? I know we had some turnovers, some some giveaways, trying to build up our attack. But what did you see from your point of view that we couldn't create that clear scoring opportunity? Well, I, I thought too many times we once we got past their their pressure, um, we rushed down one side. Uh, we weren't patient enough to come back across. Uh, and build the other side, and, and just make them defend a little bit longer. And it was too easy for them to get the ball back. Uh, and I, I thought we needed to make the extra pass or the extra switch. Because uh, what happens if you don't do that against them, you're not in a good position to, to defend in transition. And uh, if you, you turnovers in the center of the park, uh, they could, that goes right into what they want to do, and they come down the other way. So... Uh, I don't know if it was stuff that they did as much as it. I just didn't think we were sharp. The field stinks here. It's a terrible field. Um, and it's they have concerts here every three days or whatever. And the, the field's a joke. Uh, it's been a joke all year. Uh, but, again, it didn't necessarily have anything to do with uh, the score line. But it just it's just what it is. And uh, I think part of that disrupted some of our passing that we usually rely on. That's right. And lastly, it was a, a rough end to the first half, you know, to concede right before the half. What message did you tell your guys in the locker room at halftime to try to motivate them and get them back in the game? What was the message coming yeah, out of the locker room? It's a simple message of it's just one it's one zero on the road. It's it's not a big deal. Um, the timing of it hurts a little bit, so you, uh, it's really about just uh, giving a few adjustments. And uh, I thought, again, we put implemented those in the, the, the second half and there was real belief and so yeah it was it wasn't uh, I, I think you know when you're down one zero on the road it's it's not the end of the world and uh, we just we just couldn't break through we, we just didn't have the quality uh, kind of once we got into their half to to hurt them in any consistent way so uh you know, we'll look back on it again. It's it's a learning experience for our players. It's a learning experience for the coach. Uh, so this is what it's about. But uh, I think we, uh, we we played a you know what I think is the best team in the league uh, in their building. And uh, in the end, you know, again, we needed to be perfect on set pieces. Uh, we we give up an own goal. Like you know, these are things. You know, um, Corey's Corey's chance. We got to finish that. You got to score it. So these are these are things you have to do if you're going to win uh, away against LAFC. And again, it, it, we just didn't do it tonight. Thank you, Coach. Our listeners wanted me to tell you that heck of a year, and looking forward to next season. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Good. Thanks.